Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video, we got something new and exciting. But if you already read the title, you know what's going on. Finally broke down, got myself a 3D printer. Got the Flash Forge Finder. It's, guess you can say it's a beginner printer. It's supposed to be easy to set up. Something that I get used to and decide if I want to get something bigger. It came in a big cardboard box. I thought it would have some... Different packaging underneath, but once you take it out, it's got the styrofoam, so this is basically what's inside the box. So let's remove everything else. Mine didn't come in a box like that, but I find it very interesting that the instructions tell you to do this, this, this. But you really can't get the instructions till you get to step number five. You know, where it says remove the top foam sheet. So I gotta pull the blue tape off. Cut the ribbons. There's the filament right there. Looks like the color we got is black. Other things that came in the package. Thumb drive, some tools. One part of the power supply. Alright, filament finders in the back. Little button. Got inserted as so. So the filament is inserted. I guess we can power it up. Set it up. Plugged in, power's on. Wait for it to boot up, nice screen. Right now, just doing the test to level the plate. That's where I gotta turn this out until I start hearing a little tune. Extruder's heating up now. I just threw some plastic down there because apparently just will just start pissing out. There we go, it's just oozing out now. Coming out the nozzle. Which is so this is gonna be my first print. I got a Jeep TJ grill I downloaded off Thingiverse. Uh, extruder's heating up. I use this purple glue on there, which is supposed to help prevent it from flipping up when it's printing. So I guess I just have to wait for the extruder to get to 220 degrees and then it'll probably start printing. It says 28 minutes. Killed the overhead lights. Extruder is at temperature. Not sure why it's got that little string on there. It's probably gonna screw things up on the print. So I've been playing around with this all day, trying to make parts, screwing up parts, and I got the warpage part figured out, is that my PLA temperature was too high, so I lowered the temperature, and so far it seems to be printing pretty good, and also, I had to put the program into export mode, and uh, red to print a raft, or add a raft to the print, and that's what I did. So what I'm doing right now is I'm printing out a little gold sluice mat that I might add to my cleanup sluice. I'm going to see how it's going to turn out. All right, this is where we stand with the Flash Forge Finder that I picked up off Amazon. Some of the things I printed. Now... Before I got this printer, I watched a lot of videos and what I saw in the videos and what happens in real life is not the case. Most important thing, your PLA is getting the temperature set. Every color is close, but everyone has a slightly different temperature on which it'll print perfect at. Number one, getting the bed level. Now, one thing you gotta know is that the Flash Forge Finder has an automatic leveler. That does not work. I downloaded a program which actually prints a whole bunch of squares around the base and I was able to dial in the bed to make sure it's leveled. Because otherwise in the beginning, you start getting parts. Like I started printing this uh, gold matting and it got warped as you can see. And because it got warped, couldn't print. 
and these like these Jeep grills I printed in the early days. I think this one here was like my second print. And it's just brutal. This one here was my first print that, you know, I tried to stick it in the grinder. That's not the case. But once you start getting it dialed in, um, it starts working a hell of a lot better. One of the things, too, is when you're printing off something is learn about supports. When you're printing something, if you don't have supports, your print isn't going to work. When I talk about supports. I'm going to talk, for example, here. Let's look at this AA battery holder. Um that I printed off and I talk about supports. I left the supports on this inside and out. So as it prints it, it's gonna be stable. Otherwise your plastic may drip. The bed on the flash forge finder is not heated. So I find best is to print a raft for your part and then also use a glue stick uh, to put on the bed and let it dry before you print. But there's lots of cool things that you can do here. Like an example of a whole bunch of things I just randomly printed off. Like there's another battery holder for work, for example. Instead of having batteries like float around in my toolbox, I just printed off one of these little cases. That's how it looks when it's closed. I printed a puzzle. I like to solve puzzles, but you know, didn't take long to solve those. Printed this for Aubrey. That is a GoPro lens cap. Um, printed these for a joke as well. These tree fell wedges i don't think they'll work because they're plastic uh glow in the dark match container skull but uh 3d printers definitely have their place they're so cool so i'm gonna end this video here um if you guys have any questions or comments post them below and i'm pretty sure you guys are gonna be seeing quite a bit of things i print on my main channel bullshit corner i'll talk to you guys later